Hello everyone, Malleus here. Today in Total Tactics, we're going to be doing things a little bit different than usual. In this episode, we're going to be checking out a battle from my Dark Elf Harganeth campaign. In this battle, I combine the Echelon and Wedge formations with my outnumbered Dark Elf army, led by Crone Hellebron, to fight a massive horde of Norskin marauders. Real quick before we start, if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, as it will really help out the channel and appease the YouTube algorithm gods. Now, it's time to bring battle to the foes of Cain. Going into this fight, I knew immediately that there was a huge risk of being completely surrounded. My 20 unit strong army would be facing off against two other armies with a total of 34 units. I did have five units of reinforcements coming in, but they were at half health and auto resolve would give me a Pyrrhic victory, but I'd lose seven entire units, including my executioners. This was not acceptable. Fighting in a standard line formation wouldn't work due to the Marauder's numbers. So, I figured my best bet would be to concentrate my forces in order to shatter the enemy with a wedge, much like the Viking Svinfolking I discussed in my previous video. You can find the link for that in the top right, as well as in the description below. It consists of Hellebron and a Death Hag at the tip, immediately followed up by a unit of Executioners and a unit of Sisters of Slaughter. The rest of the Wedge was made up of four units of Witch Elves along the sides and four units of Crossbows within the middle of it. However, the risk of being flanked was still very high, especially with how deep the Wedge was. I deployed my spearmen on the flanks in echelon formations, with swordsmen as a reserve. I have previously covered echelon formations in my infantry tactics and formations video, which you can find here in the top right, as well as in the description. The idea was, as the wedge pushed forward, the flanking echelons could space themselves out and block the enemy flanking units covering the depth of the wedge itself and giving it time to destroy a hopefully large portion of the enemy army. Finally, I did have a few weakened units coming in as reinforcements, but I didn't expect much from them and just resolved to throw them at the enemy whenever they showed up. Let's see how things shake out now. Here we have our glorious Dark Elf army marching up. We've got spearmen and echelons on the flanks. A bitter cold descends. A bitter cold indeed. Witch elves forming the main body of our wedge. We've got crossbows in the middle. And some sisters of slaughter. And executioners forming the, well not quite the tip. We've got a death hag. Death there. And Crone Hellebron on her mobility scooter forming the actual tip of our wedge. I have to say, everyone's looking fabulous. The executioners, I love the actual, like, I don't know what gold and white and black going on. They're elves, so, you know, they gotta look fashionable. Here's our left echelon protecting our flank, and here we have the Marauders. They actually have a really, really good uh, deployment zone. Yeah, they've got like the terrain advantage for sure. They've got forest blah, hiding most of their units. They're up on a hill. They've got a lot going for them here. They're very patiently and quietly waiting, which is unusual. Oh, there we go. And here come their reinforcements. Honestly, like, I think it was two minutes for them to come in by the time I even got here. They were coming in. 
And here come the marauders charging down the hill. I'm still trying to get into position. But here we are, moving up. Gonna try and take advantage of this uh, chaos while I can as they're trying to reform their lines to accommodate their reinforcements, but I'm not gonna give them time. There go the Witch Elves, Hellebron charging in. My, I believe this is the right echelon. They're under attack. The left echelon moving into the forest. This side is going to be seeing a lot of uh, fighting, as well as a central wedge. Luckily, Witch Elves are perfect for taking on lightly armored infantry. So here's my uh, left flank engaged. They're going to be doing a really good job protecting this side of the battle. So my wedge units are engaged. Hellebron's way up at the front. My death hag is not doing anything for some reason. <laughs> but at this point, I pretty much lost control of the units because everyone's rampaging now. There's some nice close-in views. Witch Elves charging in. And they're starting to butcher their way through these marauders. Here's Hellebron. Just slamming her way through these units. She's having a good old time. She's occupying quite a few units. My crossbows are providing supporting fire. And it looks like the right echelon. One of their units is broken. So they're facing quite a fair amount of pressure. I'm trying to sort of relieve that a little bit with the crossbows, but it looks like, um... What is this called again? I can't remember. I don't actually play Dark Elves too often, but it looks like I've got the battle bonus going on. There we go. One of the enemy lords has been wounded. Fantastic. Looks like Witch Elves just butchered him down. So my units are taking a lot of damage, but they are holding. There are my reinforcements. That was real quick. <laughs> Crossbows opening fire. Left flank doing well. Looks like the central part of the wedge has definitely broken the back of the enemy army. Some of my Witch Elf units, like this one here in particular, are doing really well, haven't taken much damage. Marauder units are breaking, running away, some are coming back, there's just a lot of them. Uh, but we're pushing through. So we got Kane's Madness coming on again, my units are going to be kicking into high gear. Crossbows providing some more supporting fire. Right flank. There's not a whole lot left. One of my units, yep, there goes, about uh, broke there, but I've got a unit of Witch Elves coming into support. This unit, oh, okay, looks like my reinforcements have come in to hold uh, that portion of the flank. And this flank here, they're having a great old time. They're just chilling, holding. More chaos going on at the wedge here. I've broken them, but like I can't really push forward because they keep retreating, coming back, retreating and coming back. But eventually... Yep, there they go, a bunch more of them fleeing. The crossbows look like they're finishing off a unit at the back there. Alright, so another tide of Norskins fleeing. There's really not a whole lot of them left here. Mind you, there's not a whole lot of me left either, but... Okay, crossbows providing some supporting fire. And it looks like there's the army break. Mission successful. Victory to the Dark Elves. And look at all those corpses on the ground. Kane's going to be happy today. Well, we took a hell of a lot of damage, but we made it through. 
auto resolve was gonna lead to me losing seven units, but I pulled off a win with only losing one unit. Definitely works for me. All in all, the Dark Elves lost 46% of the total force, and the Norskins lost 76% of theirs. I'd say that each part of the plan worked out really well. Both flanking echelons were able to hold off the enveloping marauders, which gave the core wedge units all the time they needed to shatter the main body of the Norskins. Mind you, casualties were pretty heavy in the wedge, but I believe the majority of the reinforcing marauders attacked the wedge units and were soundly blended into a fine paste. After they were done with that, what was left of them were able to swing over to the right flank, which was holding, but just barely. I did have to use the reinforcements to help out there. Focusing my units into a single wedge worked out much better than my previous attempt with the viking wedge where I tried to have my cake and eat it, as it were, by having multiple wedges try and push through. Plus, Witch Elves, Executioners, and Sisters of Slaughter are just amazing Blender units. Let me know what you all think of how this did, and if you'd have done things differently. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to see more content like this, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends, as it will really help out the channel. If you have any feedback, or if there are any particular topics you'd like to see covered, let me know in the comments. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!